Gee, Boy, it sure is boring around here. What about all the stuff we gotta do? Like, fix the fridge. And scrub fix the, the floors. Ace, scrub the floors. And I'm go to dinner. Go to dinner. But we don't have any money for which to buy dinner. Well, let me check the safe. <laughs> We're poor. Wow, Leon, you sure did a great job with not buying any food and wasting all of our money. Thanks! Oh, well, look at the concave upside of things. At least we still got our ship, and we still got each other. <coughs> yeah? Huh, looks like those math guys are worth a lot of money. What if we just go down there and go get them? You know, that may sound like a good plan. So I'm gonna agree with it. Let's go do it now! All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's warp. <laughs> Gee, for a math planet, there sure isn't much math around here. Well, you see that tree. It's made of a natural log. <laughs> But this reminds me of that time that I solved for that McLaurin series. Oh really? Please tell me about it. The McLaurin series is based around the Taylor series, which uses the derivatives of a function to approximate the area around a point. The equation for a Taylor series is f to the n derivative of a over n factorial times x minus a to the n, where a is the x coordinate that the function is about. A McLaurin series is used for functions about x equals zero, and by plugging in zero to the equation for the Taylor series, you get the equation for the Maclaurin series. The greater the value of n, the higher the derivative, and the more accurate the estimation will be. Boy, that was a good Maclaurin series solving. And you know what else I heard is useful? The Taylor series. Oh. Boy, I'm so glad we went over that and I completely understand it. Hmm. Dry cleaning and math advice. Want to ask this guy for help? Why don't we not do that and leave? What? Who's out in my cabin? Uh -oh. oh, he found it's... us. I, I'm coming out there. This this is me walking. Oh, uh, no, I'm he's gonna... opening the door I'm to the cabin. I'm open the... I walking see out I'm, of I'm, the cabin. I'm coming towards you. There's nothing we can do. I am Lieutenant Hopi from Math Battalion B.C. As am I, because we are partners in crime. Have you heard of the men? Colin McLaurin and Brooke Taylor? Oh yeah, we don't like them. Do you know where degenerates like them would be? Ah, uh, yeah, I can tell you if you can solve this math problem. No? Okay, they went that way. They're gonna go in the opposite direction, he says, because he's obviously crazy. Hmm, their fortress is guarded by some sort of locking mechanism. That's what you think. Wait, this lock doesn't take keys. It takes solutions to parametric equations. The question on the door says, for time t is greater than zero, the position of the particle moving in the x and y plane is given by the part given by the parametric equations x equals t squared and y equals t. Now you have to find dy dx in terms of t. In order to do this, you take the derivative of y, which would be one, and derivative of x, which would be t squared. And then you divide the derivative of y by the derivative of x, which would give you one over two t. Boy, thank god he could solve that parametric equation so he could open the door. Well, I guess they're gone. And the ship got stolen. Life is like a graph. There are ups and downs.